Howdy guys and welcome to Vibs 243, Intro to Mammalian Histology. Um, this is just kind of going to be an introduction video just to get you guys a little bit used to how this class is going to work and everything every week. Um, I know it's just a little bit more difficult because everything is online um, and there's not really any face-to-face -face time or anything like that because of the whole COVID-19 thing we've got going on. Um, but do be assured that your education as well as your safety are extremely important to us so I am trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys so I did just want to make this video just so we could go over how things are going to work every week um, some of the features and resources that we have for you guys on eCampus um, and then some of the resources that your TAs will have for you every week as well okay so just a little bit about me my name is Jubilee Brown um, that's a lovely picture of me right there um, I am one of the many TAs that you guys are going to have access to this semester. Um, I am a Texas A&M graduate, uh, class of 2019, um, and I am currently a vet student at the Texas A&M um, vet school here at A&M as well. I am the class of 2023. Um, so just like all of your other TAs, you know, we're all the same major as you guys we're all pre-professional and stuff like that so if you do ever have any questions um, I for instance am in the vet school but there are plenty of TAs pursuing other um, career fields um, pursuing dentistry nursing um, pharmacy obviously medicine anything like that um, if you do have any questions feel free to ask us about those as well um, we are here to be a resource for you guys for this course, but we're also here just to help you guys um, find your way through school and your college careers, okay? Um, so here is a chart. This will be on eCampus and made available to you guys, but these are all of the amazing TAs, teaching assistants, that you guys will have access to this semester. Um, here are all their emails. Feel free to reach out to them. Feel free to ask questions. Um, here is my number and then here is Kendall's number as well. We're kind of the um, lead TAs here. Um, Kendall is a little bit more hands-on and I will be doing a lot more of these TA videos um, just because I am at the vet school and so it does make it hard for me to actually be available during class times. Um, but if you do need help, please feel free. Reach out to me, Kendall. Reach out to any of these TAs. We are here to answer your questions. That is our job, and we would be more than happy to do so. Okay, um, so I'm just going to go over the course structure a little bit because I know that there's a lot that goes on. We have so many resources and opportunities for you guys that it can actually get a little bit confusing. Um, so one thing that you really do want to do is go over the syllabus. It explains a lot of this in a lot more detail. Um, but just to kind of quickly go over how this class is going to work, this is going to be the course structure um, for this class. So we are going to have online lectures every week. They are already recorded by Dr. Johnson. They are already posted on eCampus and they are also available via YouTube on the Vibs Histology page. Um, so every week you are going to want to watch those. You can speed them up, you can slow them down, fast forward, rewind, pause, and take notes while you're doing them. Um, feel free to do that, but we do ask that you go ahead and watch those every week um, before your lecture time for that week, okay? So um, we have lectures once a week. We have them available four different times a week. Those times are available on the syllabus, um, but it is Tuesday and Thursday. We have two classes each day, 9.35 and 11.10. You can attend any of those lectures, but we do ask you attend one of those a week, and then the other amount of time to get your course credit will be used doing all of these other things that you can do on your own time. Okay, so that would be watching the online lectures that are already posted, um, doing the weekly quizzes and everything like that. Um, so we have quizzes every week that will be posted, and they will be covering the material that we have just covered that week in class and via the online lectures. Um, those will be worth 20 points each and they will open every Thursday at noon and close every Friday at midnight. Okay, so those will be via eCampus. You'll take them over eCampus. Um, 
the questions will be there um, and I'll go over that in a little more detail in, later on in this video. Um, so we have 12 quizzes every week, um, one quiz, and then the midterm and the final are going to be your big test. They're worth 325 out of 1,000 points each. And so your midterm is going to cover the material um, for quizzes 1 through 6. The final is going to cover the material for quizzes 7 through 12. Okay, so it is not a totally comprehensive final. Those will both be taken online via eCampus, but we do um, ask that those are closed notes. So your weekly quizzes will be open note. You can go through your notes, you can look through the PowerPoints for those, but you do need to make sure you know your stuff because for the midterm and final, those will be closed note. Okay, and then every week as well to go along with the quizzes, we have TA reviews that are available for you guys. Um, I will be recording videos. There are some that are already up there, but I will be recording more of them um, to get you guys up to date so everything is online. So you can watch those at your own convenience, and then there will be a brief, really short, really easy assignment for every single one of those. And if you complete that assignment, you get five points of extra credit every week for doing those okay so that's another big thing that I really encourage you guys to do not only is it going to get you some extra credit but it is really going to help your understanding in this course as well okay and then every week we have in-class assignments those again are really brief it's just identifying structures that we talked about big function type things it's really brief really quick um, so that's another in-class assignment you will do via eCampus and submit and if you do submit that every week it is one point of extra credit okay um, we also have another extra credit opportunity that's going to be help desk so help desk is where you guys can really have more of a personalized teaching experience with our lovely teaching assistants um, so help desk will be via zoom We'll have multiple help desk sessions open at one time via um, our multiple TAs. You can click on any one of those and join them, ask questions, um, get some clarification on some big things. And if you do participate in that every week, you will get three points of extra credit every week that you complete that as well. Okay. Um, some other things that we have for you guys, every week we do have practice quizzes. Um, so those are just for you to do to practice the questions, get used to the format, get used to the kinds of things that we're asking. Um, that will be available every week. They do not count towards your grade, so even if you get a perfect score, um, it doesn't help you, but it also doesn't hurt you. So it's just more practice for you guys before you start your actual quizzes. Your actual quizzes, you get two attempts and it will take the highest grade. All of this, again, is in your syllabus. I'm just going over some quick points. Um, so yeah, once you read the syllabus, we have another extra credit opportunity. As you can tell, we have a lot of them. Um, and that's going to be the syllabus quiz. It's worth 25 points of extra credit. It's a really quick 10 question quiz just to make sure you understand how everything works um, and that you've read the syllabus. That, um, I believe, is due the 28th of this month, so make sure you get that done. And so is the self-introductory activity. Um, that's just for you to get um, introduced to the course, some of the stuff that we're going to be covering, as well as for your TAs and Dr. Johnson to get introduced to you. So it's a really quick activity for you to do, and again, is worth 25 points of extra credit. Okay, um, so if you haven't noticed in this course, we have a lot of extra credit opportunities available for you guys. Um, and that is just because we do want to reward you working harder. We do want to reward the extra effort that you're doing. And it is because our quizzes and our tests are hard. They're difficult. Um, there are some questions that do require a lot more thinking um, that require you to know um, more than one simple fact, but to integrate it into multiple things. So we know that they're difficult and that is why we want to reward you for doing these extra things, for putting in the effort and at least trying um, to learn. Okay, so we really do encourage you to every week take advantage of all of these extra credit opportunities, the TA reviews, the in-class assignments, and help desk. Um, because they really will benefit you um, and there will not be a curve at the end of this course, okay? That is why we give you those extra credit opportunities every week um, so that you can earn the grade that you earn at the end of this semester. 
Alrighty. Um, and then so this is just a big list of all of the resources that we have for you, um, for you to take advantage of. I've gone over most of them, but it's just the lecture videos, the in-class lecture, so that's going to be via Zoom every week. Um, the lecture videos are already posted, the TA review and assignment that will be available every week, the in-class assignment, help desk. We do also have the question banks that your quizzes are pulled from available on eCampus. They obviously don't have the answers, but at least you can see the questions, see what we're asking for, and you can try to answer it on your own time. Um, and then we have practice quizzes available every week. You get two attempts on every quiz that actually counts for a grade. We will take the highest grade. And then we do have a student group me. If you haven't already joined it, feel free to join it. Um, you can use this QR code right here to join. I also sent out an email with the link to that. Um, but feel free to join the student group me. Um, that's just where you guys can ask a lot of questions and we will answer you rather quickly. Um, if you don't feel like sending a formal email or bothering Dr. Johnson because he is very busy, he gets a lot of emails. Um, if you have a question that you think we can answer, feel free to send it in there. We are normally pretty quick about answering those and getting back to you guys, okay? Um, but yeah, and then I will go over, so this is eCampus. Um, I'll just kind of go over where you guys can find everything. So this is kind of where it starts you off when you go to eCampus and you go to our little um, course page. Um, I will show you here is where the syllabus is located so you can download that. Highly encourage you guys to look at the syllabus. It has everything in here, all of our lecture times. You can go to any one that you want. Um, everything in red is going to be the new stuff that we have um, started this semester due to social distancing policies. Um, so it goes over all of these things in more detail, what is expected of you every week. Um, it has the point breakdown. It explains all of the extra credit opportunities you guys have, as well as the schedule from week to week, okay? So this first week of class, um, we aren't going to have a lecture, a formal lecture or anything. We do just want you to get used to the course, so I'm glad you're watching this video to do that. Get used to the course, read the syllabus, complete the bonus activities, and then it is the next week, the week of the 24th, we will have our first quiz over the first unit we will covering. So introduction to cells, tissues, and microscopy, okay? Um, it has everything on there, and then the way that we have this course scheduled is you will be done with this course by November 16th. You can go home, enjoy your Thanksgiving break, and not have to worry about this course. Okay, so feel free to take a look at the syllabus um, here on eCampus again. If you go to course content, that is where most of the information and content, obviously, for this course is going to be located. Um, and so you can see here is the link to our Zoom lectures, um, and it does have the times Tuesday, Thursday, from that time to that time, um, where you can click on that and join our lectures via Zoom. It does also have the help desk Zoom links, um, as well as the TA schedule. Uh, so how this is going to work for help desk is we will have multiple TAs from 11 to 4 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday hosting Zoom sessions so that um, each TA will host their own Zoom session, okay? And if you click on this link right here, it'll take you to this form. And when TAs are hosting, it will have the Zoom link, it will have the TA that's hosting it, the duration of it, um, so you can join that Zoom link and participate in Help Desk. Um, it does have the rules for participating in Help Desk to get your extra credit listed on there, so feel free to read through that. Um, but yeah, so you'll just click on this and it will take you to that Zoom session. You can feel free to ask any questions of that TA that's in there. If you wanna leave that Zoom session, join another one with a different TA, feel free. Um, I do also have on here the TA schedule. Um, so you can check the TA schedule, that's what this is. So this is our big master schedule for when every TA is supposed to be doing something. Um, so it's a little complicated, but let's say you want to um, work with a specific TA, you can see, okay, Natalie has help desk on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12.30 to 2. So that's when I wanna go to help desk. You can see who's gonna be attending this class versus this class, um, who is gonna be at help desk at all these different times, 
okay? Um, so that's just another resource for you to check, um, just so you know who's going to be on when. You can also just get on whenever, see who's on there uh, by clicking on this link, okay? Um, so that's that. Um, and then these folders are going to be the material you are responsible for every week. Um, so I'll just click on one. We'll go to quiz nine. Um, and so this is what they are all eventually going to look like once they are all up to date. Um, so it will have the PowerPoints and PDF slides for our lecture material. That's what you'll see in the videos. That's what we'll go over um, via Zoom during class time. Um, so you can download those, click on those. If you click on these links, this will take you to the actual lecture on YouTube that Dr. Johnson has so kindly recorded for you. So you can watch those at any time um, before class so you're prepared. Um, every week I did tell you there are those in-class extra credit assignments. So this is what's going to be worth one extra credit point. So you can always download the assignment. You can fill it out. You can see it's really quick, really easy. You'll just fill that out, turn it in to this link. You can submit your assignment here, browse my computer, submit something, um, and then we will grade that and get you that extra credit. Um, I did tell you that in every um, bank we have the question bank so you can click on here these are all of the liver questions that we will ask you or could ask you the way it works is there are a lot of questions in the question bank you will randomly get a portion of those okay so you won't get every question in that question bank but you will every question that you do get will be from that question bank um, so feel free to look those over before you take your quiz try to fill some out um, stuff like that here in this folder is going to be everything for your TA reviews. Um, so if you click on here again, this is going to take you to the YouTube video where I am so lovely, um, so kindly trying to go over things for you, make sure that you learn. So that is my TA review video that I have posted um, so that you can watch that, go over some of the quick points of that week. Um, they are normally a lot shorter than the actual lecture videos Dr. Johnson has posted because they are more condensed. It is me trying to give you the quick and dirty version of it, okay? Um, this is just the raw PowerPoint. If you want the PowerPoint, this is the one with the video and my explanations of it. Um, and then here is going to be that extra credit assignment I talked to you guys about. So this is the TA review extra credit assignment. Again, you can just click on it. And this will be what you'll fill out and turn in. Again, it's super quick, super easy. They are all fill in the blank. Um, and if you do watch the videos, it should be pretty straightforward filling those in. You'll turn it in by clicking on this link and we will get you that extra credit for completing that. Okay. So hopefully that was straightforward. Um, so that's everything in course content. Again, that's where the bulk of all of our material and everything is going to be on eCampus. Um, we've gone over the syllabus um, here in the bonus assignments tab are, is where um, those assignments I talked about are. So the syllabus quiz worth 25 points of extra credit and the self introduction activity. That is where you can complete those and get your extra credit. Um, this again is just the same link to that help desk um, form where you'll see uh, which TAs are hosting a help desk session in live time. Um, here in the practice quiz tab is where our practice quizzes are going to be. So as you can see right now, the practice quiz for quiz one is already open and you can begin it and get started. You can start practicing already, answering questions. Um, it will only give you one practice quiz, but you can go through it. It'll tell you which ones you got right. You can see how well you're doing before you start one of your actual um, timed uh, quizzes that count for a grade. Okay. And then every week you will have a quiz, so um, not this first week of school, but the next week, according to the schedule on your syllabus, quiz one will open up that Thursday. You'll be able to take it, um, and then that'll be that, okay? So hopefully that explained everything. Um, I know that there's a lot going on, and we just have so many resources available for you guys. Um, but that is really just us trying to help you give you as many resources as possible. Um, so feel free to reach out if you have any questions, if anything is confusing to you guys at all. Uh, feel free to join our student group me. 
um, and ask those questions as well. Uh, we are here to be a resource for you guys. We don't want to make anything as anything confusing. We just want to help you guys learn. Um, and yeah, welcome to the course and I hope you have a great semester.